Welcome back to SK Lifestyle. I told you guys I was gonna do another video on the BB gun. Here it is. So I got a couple good things lined up for you guys today. Uh, diff a couple different tests that I'm gonna run. Uh, how fast it can shoot uh, within 10 seconds. How many shots you can get off within a minute. Um, penetration wise. Um, and just its overall usability as far as how many shots you get off with a CO2 cartridge. And um, some more penetration as far as like uh, cardboard box and I might even put out pull out a piece of wood too so with all that said we got a lot to cover here um, before we get started I appreciate you guys watching also hit that subscribe button down below definitely helps me a lot uh, with this channel helps me to grow keep this kind of content coming to you guys so with that said let's jump right into it and if you got any questions or comments leave those down below as well let's do this all right so the first test that I'm gonna run is a 10 second test see how many shots i can get off um, for this and for the one minute i'm going to run with the co2 cartridge that's been in here for the other test i'm going to use brand new cartridges so we're fresh so with that said let's go safety off and All right, so you can see there halfway through, I ran out of all the BBs. So I'll definitely be able to check by the sound of it how many actually rang off, um, but I'll still count how many trigger pulls I was able to do. Uh, so with that said, let's move on to a minute. For this minute challenge, I'm not just gonna run flat air. I'm gonna actually shoot and try to reload and keep shooting. All right, one minute challenge. Safety off. Obviously pointed in a safe direction. My beat up old shed. And go. Empty. Slide it back. Safety on. Loaded. Safety off. Empty. Safety on. Take it. 35 seconds. I got some time. Loaded. Safety off. Oh, it's not firing. Ah. Oh, safety on. Oh, I'm just at it. Get a couple more. Ah, safety off. That's time. Safety on. Turn the stopwatch off. So there you go. Um, I obviously I could practice this and try to do you know the optimal whatever, but I really just wanted to give you a world, real world look at what it's like to shoot this gun and how many you could really get off in a minute. Um, I haven't really shot it in a while. Just a few practice shots here and there, whatever. Um, so. Obviously, I can operate it pretty well, but still, you know, you're trying to rush, trying to get it all done real quick. So the other thing is reloading. If anybody, if anybody out there uses one of these and has a better technique for how to chamber it other than, like me, I go upside down and I lead it backwards a little so that the hole, so all the BBs are running towards the hole. Um, and I just kind of go like this and try to get them to fall in. Somebody has a better way? Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Let everybody else know. Uh, definitely try to give it a try, run each one uh, against each other, and uh, post up a video about that as well. So with that said, let's go on to some of the other tests, and I will go ahead and switch out this CO2 because it is running uh, pretty low now, and I want to do a full-on test of how many shots you can get through a CO2 cartridge. So let's do that right now. This is the fresh tank. I just took the old one out. So she should have popped by now and should be good to go. So I got my box of BBs here. You saw my whole little setup in the beginning. I got some targets, I got some cans and stuff so I could run the different, you know, empty cans, full cans, that sort of thing. So I got all that stuff. I got a little target up there just to have something to aim at. Um, but it's really not important what I'm hitting, just so much as how many shots I get off. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stop basically when I got to about the point I was with that cartridge, where I could tell the BBs are just starting to curve off about 20 feet after the barrel where I could tell the, uh, 
the velocity really isn't high and the, and the distance isn't getting too far any long, anymore, then I'm just gonna stop it right there. Basically, the, the, the BB gun's done at that point. So I'm locked in, safety off, and now uh, let's go. Now this isn't a race, but I'm not gonna try to take all day. Well, the way she's running, she seems like she has at least three more mags in her without a problem. We shall see. Like I said, those will still count. It was dropped, but it seemed like it was caught for some reason. That time I didn't drop it. Drop it, jeez. Off. Well, my trigger finger is definitely getting tired, or at least my wrist is. Maybe I'll switch it up. See if I can be just on target. You guys gotta be pretty impressed. I mean, this, I don't know how many mags that is so far. I definitely think we're way over a hundred rounds by now. I'll be honest, she doesn't really seem like she's slowing down.
All right, so she's starting to wind down here. I'm thinking maybe one or two more magazines. Oh yeah. Oh, there she is. I don't know if you caught it, but it was barely going about 10 feet. So that's all the bullets or all the BBs that that thing can shoot in one cartridge. So we're gonna bring that back, count that down, and I'll put up the totals right there for you. And just so you know, real world um, conditions, right now it's 53 degrees, 39% humidity. I doubt any of you guys are really that curious about how your, your BB gun operates. <laughs> but if you're wondering, I'm in New England, that's the temperature, that's the humidity right now. So that's how the CO2 cartridge is working for me at the moment here in springtime. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the penetration drills. That's gonna be part two of this BB gun demonstration for this Daisy 74. If you guys really enjoy this, you got any comments, questions, leave those down below. Be sure to like and share. And again, subscribe to my channel, SK Lifestyle. With that said, see you guys in part two, and I'll see you guys next time, SK Lifestyle.